Okay, so we are gonna be making these vegan fishless cakes and they're of course vegan and fish-free. And here's like a quick taste test of the fishless cakes and I dipped it in some sweet chili sauce. And there's a nice crunch from the breadcrumbs, the coating on the outside. And it's really good as is. Or you can have it with some rice or with a salad or just like a starter appetizer or as a snack. And I dipped it in more sauce. And we're basically gonna make these. So we're gonna start with a puso ng saging, which is basically a banana heart or banana blossom. If you can get these fresh, that's great. If not, you can check if you have like canned options in your like local grocery stores. And we're basically gonna peel this, but Harry wanted to see what was up with my setup. So he kind of sabotaged my setup here, but I didn't want to chop that part out. So we're gonna go ahead and peel the rest of the skin until we reach this like yellow fleshy center of the puso ng sanging or banana heart. And from there, I transferred it into a darker shade board because it does tend to stick with like the um, dagta or like the sticky part of the juice. It kind of stains a bit, so I wanted to use like a different chopping board. But anyway, we're gonna slice it in half. And we're basically just gonna slice it in another half, so it's gonna be a quarter. And then from there, we are gonna basically just chop it up into minced pieces. But you can also opt to use a food processor if that speeds things up for you. But I just chopped all of mine by hand. So I start by thinly slicing it first. And then from there, I just kind of roughly chopped it into smaller pieces. And then I transferred everything to a bowl. So that is a chopped up puso ng saging. And we're gonna quickly saute this until it turns to like a darker shade of brown. Just so it also cooks down. It becomes more tender. Um, so basically, you can cook for a few minutes. And prepare like the flour, the baking powder, salt, um, and some of the seaweed powder. And we're basically just gonna mix all of this together. It's gonna... Um, create like a nice batter mixture for everything and add some tofu so I no longer press this tofu I just mash it up with a fork and it's gonna help bind everything together as well and also create like nice like bite to it when you cook it down later on and afterwards we're gonna go ahead and add a bit of water just to kind of create like a thicker batter consistency um, you can adjust the water here depending on how wet your tofu is it really depends and then add in the sautéed banana heart or banana blossom. If you're using canned, you can just like basically add it directly without cooking it. So I just mix it up with a mixture of tofu here. And we're gonna mix it until we have like a nice mixture and add in some pepper if you'd like. And just mix it up. And like I like to do like a good test here on like how firm it is to hold. If you think it's a bit too wet, you can add a bit more flour. Um, the flour helps to like um, make sure the mixture holds up better when you cook it. So I added a bit more all-purpose flour here and gave it another mix. So it's going to help dry up the mixture as well and absorb any extra moisture. And then from there, I'm going to test it out again. So it was better, like a lot firmer to hold at this point. So we are going to go ahead and coat these. So directly, just by shaping these, you can like dip it in the breadcrumb mix. And it's just basically going to stick together since the mixture is already a bit wet. So just coat it in some Japanese breadcrumbs. I use Japanese breadcrumbs. You can also use like other, like maybe like oat flour if you'd like, like a gluten-free um, substitute. But basically you repeat this for the rest of the steps. And we're gonna coat and just shape the rest. And you can also shape these into balls. It's really up to you like what type of shape you wanna do. But basically those are the fish cakes. And we're gonna fry it in some neutral oil. And then it's gonna basically cook down for like a few minutes. It's very fast, so keep an eye out so they don't burn. And just cook it until it's golden brown on both sides and just fry the rest of the cakes. If you're pan frying, you can just like cook these a bit longer just so both sides are nice golden brown. And there you have like the finished fish cakes. And you can have um, like a nice squeeze of lime juice or lemon before you dip it in some sweet chili. It's really up to you. So I hope you guys enjoy these fishless cakes. You can check out the recipe linked down below or on thefoodielakesflight.com. And I will see you guys in my next video.